The Hunter Hunter manga officially returns on April 18th, and in anticipation, I've been rereading the Dark Continent arc. Just for the heck of it, I decided to read the fan scanlations as well as the official English releases by Viz Media. Let me get straight to the takeaway point. When it comes specifically to the Dark Continent arc, the official Viz translations are so much better, and this video will provide examples to demonstrate this. A lot of people have complained that the Dark Continent arc has been difficult to understand. I'm talking about people who actually desire to understand the context behind the events, but despite carefully reading the dialogue, are still finding themselves lost and confused. I believe this is largely because so many people are relying exclusively on fan scanlations, which thus far have done a relatively poor job compared to the official Viz releases. This video is going to compare and contrast Viz translations to those of manga stream from a handful of select examples from chapters 341 and 342. Why manga stream? To put it bluntly, manga stream is the best, and probably most well known, unofficial translation group. Comparing to other unofficial groups isn't really necessary because overall, MS does a better job. Let's get right into it then, let's start on the opening page to chapter 341 to demonstrate how MS translations can sometimes lack clarity. The Japanese word toko is used without the readers knowing what it is, nor being able to grasp its meaning from the context alone. Not only that, but the word administer is used, which can mean to manage, but it can also mean to dispense, or to put into effect. So is this person assigned to manage a unit, or place a restriction of some kind onto the continent, or something else entirely? This isn't too bad, because the dialogue on the following page elaborates further, but you generally don't want to leave a reader puzzled at the end of a page when they shouldn't be. In comparison, the Viz translation makes the job of establishing this person's duty clear as day. It's immediately obvious what the job entails. However, the part about an entire continent is missing. I don't know if that was in the original Japanese and simply left out in the Viz translation or not. If it is an omission, it's an example how MS can be more rigorous in their translation, since this person will be coordinating all the restricted voyage agencies of one specific continent. But if not for the Viz translation, we wouldn't know he's coordinating the restricted voyage agencies in the first place, which is of prime importance to comprehend. MS provides an extra detail, but it lacks it delivering the core message which Viz accomplishes. In this next example, both of the translations capture the same general meaning. I'm contrasting them to simply illustrate that MS tends to use a ton of words to get the point across. In this case it turned out just fine, merely excessively wordy. But as we shall see in some future examples, this overloading of words can lead to incoherency. This next example shows MS botching a speech bubble, which renders the meaning unintelligible. This is a rare case where the Viz translation actually contains more words, but those few extra words are not filler. They are vital to making the dialogue make sense and to get the point across. The next comparison has translations that are different from one another. I don't have the Japanese version, nor do I speak Japanese for that matter, but based on simply the context of the situation, the Viz translation seems to be far more accurate. Information was revealed that these mangled bodies were found in this world rather than the New World. It's shocking because symptoms of calamities from the New World are manifesting in this world. So that prompts the question, have any of these now deceased people traveled into the New World at any point in time? Asking whether there are additional bodies from the New World Voyagers, on the other hand, makes far less sense in this conversation. Immediately following this, there's a blatant error in the manga stream translation, which states that eyewitness testimony was dismissed. The Viz translation, on the other hand, states that the speculation about the Mafia was refuted by eyewitness testimony. Again, the Viz translation makes sense whereas the MS translation just comes off as awkward. And for this specific comparison, manga stream is simply incorrect. There's nothing too egregious here, it's just a simple case of manga stream being long-winded and perhaps including slightly more information than Viz, but in a manner that doesn't flow very well. If you want to read the whole thing, I suggest you pause the video here, because I'm going to keep going. In this comparison, I actually think manga stream is superior. Now you may have noticed that the translations do differ slightly, and I don't know which one is more true to the Japanese version, but I'm going to give manga stream the benefit of the doubt, and if they are accurate to the original Japanese, they one up to Viz here. However, the Viz translation is still super easy to follow, and makes general sense. On the other hand, when Viz 1-Up's manga stream, which occurs a lot in my opinion, it's because manga stream made something unnecessarily difficult to comprehend, which is worse than a lack of detail or nuance. Like in this following example here.
This is clunky and awkward. Let me just try to read it aloud. It's likely that if acceptance was appealed for from the organization by inciting riots. Yeah. That's not easily digestible English, and I'm not 100% sure that the syntax is even correct here. The hunt in this conversation refers to capturing Beyond Netero, but the manner in which this answer is given makes it difficult to comprehend how Beyond even fits into the conversation. This speech bubble essentially prompts a double take and mandates that you read it again more slowly to understand what the hell is being said. Awkward and clunky dialogue like this is why I think a lot of people wind up befuddled and unsure what's happening. The this translation makes the relationship obvious. Once he's charged with sedition or inciting a riot and the Hunter Association accepts the request. That is straight to the point and simple to comprehend, and is actually proper English. Sometimes manga stream can make the roundabout use of words sound rather cool, as we can see here. But that also adds unnecessary vagueness. This translation makes it seem like the contagion is what's murderous. The Viz translation might be less cool sounding, but it explicitly describes what the snake does, which is far more beneficial for the reader. In this comparison, I actually give the edge to manga stream for this speech bubble here, if they remove these unnecessary words at the start. Impossible by itself suffices, no need to overload. But for the rest of the speech bubbles, Viz provides a far better and more organic sounding translation of the conversation. I'm gonna move on now, but if you want to pause to read these panels, do so now. Alright, now we're going to see examples where manga stream's wordiness leads to incoherency. I remember when these chapters first released, I had to reread these panels from MS multiple times to grasp what the hell the conversation meant. Now nothing MS translated here is technically incorrect, but it all comes out so garbled that deciphering the basic meaning becomes rather arduous. I'm just going to read this portion of the MS translation out loud. This decision has been passed to ensure these danger levels do not shake the foundations of our national security. This allows military intervention to force compulsory public participation in whatever is necessary. <sighs> Let's try the VIS translation. If it is determined that a nation is endangered, the use of force including military intervention is permitted. Ha! <laughs> That's so simple! That's so easy to understand! That actually makes you able to understand what MS was trying to say. Let's check out another panel that follows shortly after these ones for yet another example of incoherency, the MS version. It is common understanding that a society that is able to be controlled officially and stopped at any time is exceedingly restrictive and yet cannot deny that these military solutions have proven effective and have happened time and time again. <gasps> ah, Jesus. That's a single sentence. Okay, let's check out the Viz version. I wanted to establish a common understanding that the means to stop them is limited and military. Oh, that's it? Wow, that is simple. Now this demonstrates the primary problem with the MS translations in my opinion. Having muddled dialogue like this breaks immersion. Even if technically accurate, it forces the average reader to scratch their head, realize they're not sure what they just read, and go back and reread the panels. Or worse, some lackadaisical readers will simply move on without bothering to reread and simply never understand what was being said and then complain about how confusing Tagashi's story is. Tagashi's story is indeed complex. There's multiple factions deciding on which routes of action to take and how to interact, and that's what makes it so brilliant and so fun to read. But the fun is lost when the dialogue is unintelligible. If you're gonna be confused, it should be because of how multifaceted the story is, not because you can't comprehend what the characters are conversing about. Here, we have a simple example where there's a lack of clarity due to misplacement of words. Kakin ushering in V5 means Kakin will be incorporating V5 into Kakin. That's not what is being proposed. What is being proposed is the other way around, for V5 to incorporate Kakin to create V6. This is a simple goof, but it might cause confusion for people who are already unsure about what's happening. Here's another example of a similar goof. MS translates this speech bubble to say Kakin will be left in the hands of the selected members. The accurate translation which Viz nails is that Kakin will handle the voyage, but the people it brings will be carefully screened. And then this speech bubble right here, I don't know what the original Japanese says, but I'd wager a lot of money that Viz got it right and MS botched it. Okay, we're winding down to the final two examples I'm going to provide because this is getting exhausting, and by this point I'm repeating myself a lot. In this panel, the implications of MS's translation are totally off. 
It's not that the open door policy defined alternatives, it's that it basically forced V5 to be between a rock and a hard place. The Viz translation, though only slightly different, captures this implication. MS saying that V5 would be unable gives the raw implication yet again. It's not that V5 would be unable to move, it's that V5 doesn't want to move. They'd rather nobody go to the Dark Continent at all. The whole plan with Kakin is forcing them to make a move, that's the point here. Again, this captures this implication briefly and succinctly, whereas reading the MS version would make the average reader completely lost or left with the wrong impression. Cheadle's response doesn't even make sense in the MS version. She should be making the claim that since protecting immigrants won't be a task they have to deal with, the risk is a lot lower now. If I'm reading MS's garbled translation correctly, they're somehow implying the opposite, which might have just been a typo on their part due to how wordy they are in the translation. But the fact that I'm unsure whether I'm reading the MS translation correctly in the first place illustrates the problem. And finally, the last example I'll cover. I find this one super comical because Tanzai, who is a simpleton, is incapable of following the conversation, so he asks for an explanation. In the MS version, half of Sacho's explanation is incomprehensible. What the hell does that even mean? Oh, okay, that's what it means. That's actually really simple and easy to understand. This really illustrates the point I've been driving at the whole time. When an explanation that is summarizing and simplifying dialogue we already saw is itself incomprehensible, then how are our readers supposed to understand what's going on? I hope the takeaway is obvious by now. Specifically for the Dark Continent arc of Hunter x Hunter, unofficial fan translations are far from ideal. Now, I'm not trying to purposefully pick on Manga Stream, although it may seem that way from this video. Remember, I chose Manga Stream to compare to because they are the best unofficial group working on Hunter x Hunter. However, even the best in this case doesn't match up to the official licensed version. For the Dark Continent arc, MS tends to shoot for highly literal translation attempts which utilize a buttload of words. Their translation often ends up bloated and awkward, especially when the dialogue is about political action or regarding goals and motivations. While Viz Media's translation may lack some depth here and there, it is concise, understandable, and most importantly, it flows really well. Your immersion is not broken when you're reading the Viz translations. If you're able to get the official releases of Hunter x Hunter chapters by Viz Media, which come out on the same day as the weekly Japanese release of Shonen Jump, you should definitely do so. Not to just support Tagashi's work, though that's really important as well and you should do it for that reason, but also to get a far more enjoyable reading experience for this awesome manga.